Okay, next up we're with Phil Brown, who's the sales director of Fortress Technology. Hi, Phil. How are you doing? Very good, very good. Having a great day so far. Um, tell us a little bit about what you guys do. Uh, yeah, Fortress Technology are um, probably the world's biggest um, custom uh, metal detection manufacturer now for the food, pharmaceutical and textile industry. Um, been established now almost 20 years, uh, of which 16 years of those have been in the UK. And for the last six years, we've been manufacturing um, out of Banbury in Oxfordshire. Great, very nice. And a few examples of the products uh, lined up behind us here. Yeah, absolutely. What have we got on show today? Um, so what we've got is a range of equipment. Um, I think the obvious giveaway is the uh, Union Jack, which denotes where we make these things. Uh, we have the interceptor here, which is the cone top uh, system, which is a new metal detector um, designed specifically for focusing on uh, very difficult to handle products. Uh, we have our standard um, stealth metal detector um, which has actually now got a new built-in feature which is called halo which is an automatic uh, test feature which is we're actually um, uh, launching that at the show as well at the moment yeah. And um, over your shoulder here with the, the slightly uh, bigger machine, what's that one? Yeah, we have a combination system that we work in partnership with uh, with a very good company, uh, Spark Systems, uh, where we actually uh, put weighing and metal detection features together in a single unit. And then we just have further down just some slightly different applications to do with gravity systems, where you have free-flowing powders, where you're trying to inspect uh, for metal within uh, loose uh, free-flowing products and things like that. And obviously it's a, it's a key sector of the industry for you guys and, and that sort of health and safety aspect of it. It is. I mean, it's, 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 quite, um, it's quite crucial that, that, that uh, I'm very critical that people, food, food safety is absolutely paramount. Um, and so it's really important that what you have is equipment that's actually capable of doing the job. So finding the smallest possible contamination, but not at the risk of... Um, creating the, the, the cry wolf situation where you have lots of false detections where you try to over egg the performance of the machine. So food safety is absolutely paramount and equipment like this really sort of comes into its own um, within the food industry. So PPMA 2016 looks like it's going well so far. 2017 will be back here for the, the 30th year, of course. 30 years, yeah, I can't believe it. I feel like I've known every one of them as well. <laughs> but uh, part of these youthful looks. <laughs> but um, no, it's, it's great. I mean, it's a show that we look forward to doing every year. Um, and we have a great spot, um, which uh, we look forward to to sort of like trying to catch as many people as, as, as come in the door, really. Yeah, you can literally grab them when they come in. I think we you do. come in the main entrance yeah. and then you're just in on the left-hand side. We do, absolutely. Yeah, we try to grab as many people as we can. Even if they don't want to talk about metal detection, we're quite happy to have a chat about anything else. Just a little chinwag about Why anything not? else that's going absolutely. on in life. Yeah. Um, I guess one other question we should ask about that everybody's been talking about this year is, is Brexit and how it affects uh, you guys specifically as a company, if at all? Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's a bit early days at the moment. We, we sort of look, looked at that when the when the shock vote came through. Um, it's probably given us a bit more of an opportunity, I think, potentially on some of our export um, markets because we have a distribution network throughout of uh, throughout of Europe. So there is some opportunity there because obviously with the devaluation of the currency, made it a little bit more interesting, particularly as we manufacture here. Um, so I think that. Um, early days but I think there's as many opportunities as there will be restrictions I think that's my honest opinion good outlook and a very positive one as well thanks very much for your time and all you're the best for the welcome. next three days thank you very much cheers thank, thank you, you. Right.